Hello students of grade 9, we'll do exercise 6.2, question number 1 and 2 in the same video. Video. In this question, they have given these two lines are parallel. You can write given. Or we're going to show that it's parallel. Clear? It's not given. We have to show that it's parallel. You have to find x and y and after that, we're going to show it's parallel. Okay? Now, see here. This is a straight line. In a straight line, if we add this two angle x plus 50 will be equal to 180 reason is linear pair in a straight line if you add two angle and it is 180 two adjacent angle is 180 that is called linear pair okay now take 50 on the other side 180 minus 50 what you'll get x equal to 130 degree we got the value of x let us find y y also will be 130 degree why this is 130 because vertically opposite angles are same whenever two line cross opposite angle are same so we can say y equal to 130 degree reason is vertically opposite angles so we got x also 130 y also 130 that means therefore x equal to y if x and y are same that means we are showing that alternate angles are same if alternate angles are same this line have to be parallel so you can write s alternate angles are same therefore a b must be parallel to c d hence proof clear you can pause the video to write the solution Let's do question number 2 of exercise 6.2. In this figure, AB is parallel to CD and CD is parallel to EF. That means all the lines are parallel. And X is to Z is given as 3 is to 7. So we'll cons we are going to find, so, sorry, Y is to Z is given as 3 is to 7. And we're going to find X. So we'll consider, let y equal to since x is already given here we can use another alphabet whenever they give in ratio we have to take with the alphabet so y equal to 3a will take and z equal to 7a clear now make one angle here they have not given just make it one angle mark it here the blue you can write y equal to the blue why they are same y is 7a sorry y is 3a even the blue will be 3a why they are same corresponding angle two parallel line crossing one angle here corresponding angle reason is corresponding angles if the corresponding angles are same we can use this now w plus z will be 180 degree we call it linear pair now w is 3a and z is 7a 7a let us solve this 3a plus 7a will be 10a which is equal to 180 now find the value of a a is 180 by 10 Zero, 0 cancel a is 18 once we get a we can fight y and z y equal to 3a that means 3 into 18 will be 54 degree z equal to 7a 7 into 18 equal to how much 7 8 is 56 7 1 is 7 8 9 10 11 12 126 degree clear we got y and z now you're going to find x see to find x this if i add x and y it will be how much will be 180 this we call it sum of angles if interior angle on the same side see this is an interior angle on the same side of a transversal line 
if I sum this, it will be always 180. Clear? If you if, if you are not clear, go to the introduction video of exercise 6.2. So if I add interior angle on the same side of transversal, it will be 180. If I add this, it also will be 180. If I add this angle and this angle, also will be 180 like that. So x plus y is 180. Y, we already got 54. X plus 54 will be 180. So, what will be X? 180 minus 54. So, X will be 10 minus 4 is 6. 7 minus 5 is 2. 126 degree. So, we got the value of X. Please pause the video to write the solution. Thank you.